while others appeal to the government to, as a matter of urgency, come to the aid of the people to enable them to restart a new life. They equally confirm to NTA News that the soldiers do not harass them as they abide by the rules of engagement in their operations and they applauded the federal government for the intervention. As at the time of the visit, business and social activities are gradually picking up as the people say they are free from the psychological torture and fear of attack. Next, from Kirinoa in March local government, Mohamed Goni, NTA News. Affecting. In an effort to address challenges of inadequate personnel in hospitals and primary health centers seriously affecting effective healthcare delivery, Gombe State Government is building a modern college of nursing and midwifery for training of professional health workers who can stand the test of the contemporary world. Correspondent Usman Aleyu now reports. Population grows with attendant challenges. One crucial issue affecting healthcare delivery, for instance, is that nurses, midwives, and laboratory scientists are grossly inadequate in most health centers and hospitals. The problem, which is not only common in Nigeria or Africa, but the world in general. Bearing this in mind, Gombe State Governor Ibrahim Hassan Dangombo decided that the temporary school of nursing in Gombe be transformed to a full-pledged college of nursing and midwifery. The infrastructure, which building began last two months, will be executed to meet standards for accreditation by the Nursing and Midwifery Council of Nigeria, as assured by Governor Ibrahim Hassan Dangwambo. The evaluation that was done in health, the number of nurses, the number of midwives in the next five years will finish. And we do not have institutions that will train nurses or retrain them even when they are working. That is why we have taken this proactive measure. This project is positively going to impact on the lives of the people of Duku Emirate and the people of Gombe State and people of Nigeria in general. In the design, lecture theater, laboratories, libraries, hostels and staff quarters, as well as sporting arena are to be built. In Gombe, Usman Aliu, NTA News. And now to health matters, the Minister of Women Affairs and Social Development, Hagia Zaina Maina, has retreated federal government's commitment to empower persons with disabilities. Donato Izirike reports that this was at the presentation of aid and appliances to these categories of persons who were given takeoff grants. Her report. Minister of Women Affairs says the ministry is leaving no stone unturned in meeting the yearnings of persons with disabilities, especially empowerment. She notes that since last year, over 250 persons with disabilities on the 20 selected non government organizations were trained with skills such as tie and dye, soap making, and tomato pastry, and were given take off grants and equipment to the tune of 9 million naira. This, she adds, is true collaborations with states and the support of the Office of the Senior Special Assistant to the President on MDGs. The Ministry has concluded empowerment training programs for 300 persons with disability in Akure, Ondo State, Wachakot, River State, and Makodi, Edway State, in the third and fourth quarter of 2012. The beneficiaries of this project to make effective and efficient use of these materials. In a African women leaders have been called upon to use the 5th African Women Leadership Conference holding in Uyo Akwaibom State to advance the status of women in the continent. Susan Asukwa reports that the conference with the theme African Women of Wealth is aimed at strengthening the code of unity and solidarity. The report. The conference has governors' wives, former first ladies of some African countries, captains of industry, wives of legislators, some past and present female lawmakers in attendance. Addressing the conference, Akwaibom State Governor Chief Gosuli Akpabio, represented by the Deputy Lady Valerie Ebe, commended the initiators of the conference, which she said will have far-reaching impact, particularly in the areas of sensitization, enlightenment, and right accession for women. It is my that 
wife of Akwaibom State Governor Mrs. Ekaito Noama Akwabio, represented by Permanent Secretary Minister of Women Affairs Mrs. Arut Okpo, said the conference will set the tone for development of women in Africa as well as creating a platform for empowerment. <laughs> Founder of the African Women in Leadership Organization, AWLO, Mr. Elisha Atai, said issues affecting women is the main thrust of the conference. In Uyo, Susan Asokwa, NTA News. Nigeria has been called to arise and take the position of authority and rulership in the African continent and be a model of true leadership. The call was made during an intercessory prayer meeting breakfast for the king held in Abuja with the theme, Judah First. Correspondent Jim Dima Undubese filed in the report. The service started with praise and worship from men and women desirous of seeing the nation Nigeria live out her destiny and experience divine peace and order in spite of the challenges facing the nation. Judah First! Speakers at the event emphasized the need for citizens to be patriotic and be change agents in their various professions and endeavors to bring about a reformed Nigeria. In the Bible, Judah was the fourth son of, in a family, but he received the blessing of the firstborn. And um, we look at it in Nigeria and we say that Nigeria, in God's plan, carries the destiny and identity of a firstborn. It's about change, it's about transformation, it's about reformation. How will God build this great country in Nigeria? How is it going to happen? It's going to happen to ordinary people like you and I. Right. Who accept the responsibility of their individual calling, tied together as a corporate assignment. Intercessory prayer session was held for the nation and her leaders. Breakfast for the King Ministry is a non-denominational fellowship of men and women who wants Nigeria to experience a new era of transformation in governance. So what news continues after the break. Please stay with us. What are you people doing? Stop, let's take her to the nearest Shopee healthcare center. But there isn't enough money to pay for the pregnancy drugs and the delivery items at the clinic. Those things are now free at all Shopee healthcare centers. Quickly, let's go. Go get a bus. Thank you for your intervention. At Shopee Maternal and Child Healthcare Centers, we are sure of free pregnancy drugs and free mama delivery kits and being attended to by skilled birth attendants. And in case of an emergency, you'll be referred to a quality hospital. You're welcome. The National Primary Healthcare Development Agency calls on every pregnant woman to attend and better care and ensure delivery in a health facility to save the life of both mother and child. Do you know any Nigerian serving or retired with an impeccable record of rectitude in their moral, ethical, or religious domains? A Nigerian with an unblemished record of public service for not less than 15 years? It is time to recognize and award these compatriots who have demonstrated a rare level of ingenuity at home and abroad. The Nigerian Institute of Advanced Legal Studies, in collaboration with the Nigerian Television Authority, announces the Mohammed Lawal Always Public Service Awards. All MDAs, military, military, General public are invited to submit nominations in favor of individuals that possess these qualities. Address nominations to the screening committee, Mohammed Lawal Owais Public Service Awards, care of a DG, Nigerian Institute of Advanced Legal Studies, Supreme Court Complex Abuja, Nigeria, or the DG NT before 20th June 2013. 3 4 5 2 1 2 7 2. The Mohammed Lawal Owais Public Service Awards, engendering a new culture of integrity at the workplace. We're driven by excellence. We dare to dream big. 
Kaysafa schools Abuja, one of the best schools in the world. This is one of the most powerful countries, the United States of America, on a summer trip for one whole month. During the trip, we will have academic classes. We'll visit fun places like the White House, Jefferson Memorial, Six Flags, Disney World, and make lifelong friends. However, no child will be left behind. In our schools in Abuja, summer school holds in places such as Wuse and Warren between July 22nd and August 16th. Registration is on now. For more inquiries, visit the school office. Pace Certain Schools. Setting the pace. Nigerian Diaspora Direct announces its first investment summit in London on 28th and 29th June 2013. By creating a bridge between the Central Association of Nigerians in the UK and the Small and Medium Enterprise Development Agency of Nigeria, the NDDIS will help match investors with small and medium businesses across Nigeria. NDDIS presents viable enterprises to sources of funding and invites entrepreneurs, chambers of commerce, corporate organizations and state governments to join this deal-making event. Both the Ministry of Trade and Investment and the Nigerian High Commission to the UK commend this initiative. To join the Sweden and sponsoring state delegations, submit your one-page business summary for screening by Africa-friendly business investors. Submissions will be screened on a best value basis. Register online at nddis.com or call NTA Enterprises, Sweden or NDDIS for more information. Thanks for being with us. Nationwide News now continues in Jaws, where Caleb is standing by with report and lecture by Minister of Interior on corruption and peace and other stories from that zone. Caleb, it is over to you. Hello, Ronche, and welcome to Jaws. The Minister of Interior, Abba Moro, has decried the widespread corruption in Nigeria and how it is being celebrated. He said this while delivering a lecture on corruption at the annual peace lecture and award organized by the Students' Union of the University of Jos. Ashesi Gopeb reports that the event was held at the ASU Secretariat of the University. The minister who noted with dismay the level of corruption in the country said it should be punished. He reminded the students to also contribute their quota in nation building and also support government policies in maintaining law and order, which he said is a collective responsibility. If we withdraw, tomorrow we will be But if we endure and determine and work hard, Vice Chancellor of the University of Jos, Professor Hayward Mafuyai, represented by the Deputy Vice Chancellor Administration, Professor Ibrahim Musa, advised students to shun every form of violence and vices as cornerstones of the society. Heads of establishments under the Ministry of Interior which includes the State Commandant of the Nigerian Security and Civil Defense Corps State Comptroller, Nigerian Immigration Service, and the State Comptroller, Nigerian Prison Service, were present at the lecture. In Jos, Ashesigopeb, NTA News. Plateau State Governor and Chairman, Nigeria Governors Forum, Jonah David Jang, says he remains committed to the development of Plateau State, despite the challenges in the polity. The Governor said this at an interactive session with journalists in Jaws. The Pali, which is coming barely a week after the retreat by top government officials in the state, the governor explained, is to assess, interact and discuss on the way forward for the administration in the state. While applauding the media for being worthy partners in the peace process, Governor Junk reiterated his stance at repositioning all vital sectors like education, agriculture, tourism and the civil service, among others. Criminal activities should not always be interpreted as crisis. Believe me, when I say peace has returned to practice, they will admit Questions on the NGF chairmanship, security, strike, road constructions, among others, came from the journalists with commendations to the governor 
for his developmental strides and restoration of peace to the state. Responding to the issues raised, Governor Junk explained that regarding NGF chairmanship, everything is being done to put the issue behind them. Chairman of the Nigeria Union of Journalists, Mr. Kadaba Gobum, appreciated the governor for the forum, which he said afforded them the opportunity to ask questions on various issues. The mid-term interaction had in attendance heads of media establishments in the state. Victims of last year's flood in Boucher State have been commended for the manner they conducted themselves in the ongoing disbursement of checks. Chairman of the Committee for the Development of 400 million Connected by the federal government to 2012 flood victims in Bauchi, Ambassador Adamu Aliu, gave the commendation shortly after inspecting the exercise. The report. Adamu Aliu said the victims have encountered problems of accessing the funds from designated banks, but that has been overcome. He used the medium to advise people to desist from farming and constructing of houses on waterways to avoid reoccurrence. He assured that all the enlisted victims would be given their checks personally and stressed that no one should come forward with other people's check and advise the beneficiaries to make good use of their assistance. Some may find that the money is small, but the essence is to assist them, not to compensate. But I am satisfied with the arrangement and the leadership is very good. Everything is working very well. Payments to the victim is being conducted in all the three senatorial districts of the state. In Bauchi, Babet Vida Miso, NTA News. And that's it from Jos. Ronke, it's back to you. Thank you, Caleb. The People's Democratic Party National Working Committee has rescinded its decision to suspend Governor Aliyu Wamako of Sokoto State for alleged insubordination. The national chairman of PDP, Al Haji Bamagatuko, revealed this after a meeting with the PDP Governors Forum in Abuja. Al Haji Bamanga says the party will continue to uphold rule of law and also follow the party's laid down procedure. Meanwhile, the PDP has fixed Thursday, the 28th of June 2013, as date for its National Executive Council meeting. River State Government holds information summit this and more as we join Daoju in Port Harcourt. Daoju, this is over to you. So Port Harcourt. The River State Government is spending about 36 billion naira in the construction of Andoni Opobo Road. Governor Chibike Amechi, who disclosed this at the inspection tour of the road, said the road will be ready by December 2013. Correspondent Kinsley Amajuri has a story. Two more bridges are underway to link Opobo Town out of the 11 bridges in the entire road project. Governor Mechi said the delay in the delivery of the job on schedule was owing to environmental challenges given the terrain of the area, stressing that the contractor has from time to time seek for variation of the job. The governor also disclosed that the bridge linking Ikru Town with Opobo would be ready by August this year. But they have assured us that by August we can drive into Upu. That does not mean that the road will finish. What it means is that you can at least drive into Upu town. But <laughs> the road will finish in December. In that case, you then have that you see a road that has been asphalted, either to uh, Ngo or to Upu. Governor Mechi said he is pleased that Bolo community a coastal area in Ogubolo local government area can now be accessed by road following the completion of the bridge linking the area to other parts of the state. Meanwhile, Governor Chibika Mechi has reassured residents of El Pramo and its environment that the road will be ready before the next rainy season. In Port Harcourt, Kingsley Amadri, NTA News. Stakeholders say public information management is a veritable tool for social cohesion as it bridges the communication gap and gives citizens opportunity to be integral part of governance. Correspondent Liba Barisidoma reports. Without information, those in government then do not feel accountable to anybody. 
It is when you have told the public, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do this within this timeline, that is when they can hold you accountable to what you have promised. If we agree that information is power, then we need to open up the system for people to understand the workings of government so that they can participate. If we do not have relevant information, we may not be able to ask relevant questions. These are the views of people that public information should be. But what is public information all about? Public information should be given to us empowering citizens with information that will assist monitor the policies and programs of government and also towards the generality of the people rather than serve the selfish interests of the government. I also explain that when information is made available, resources will be well managed, but lack of information means an infringement on the rights of the citizens as enshrined in the Constitution. Now this is an effort by the government to draw closer to the people to receive appropriate feedback for adjusting for varying decisions with regard to government program. When you have a policy on how you can bridge between the government and the government, I think it's a very good um, idea of having that policy. But the most important thing is to make it implementable. Work. They concluded that the Freedom of Information Act is a powerful tool made available to journalists and they must take advantage of it to make a difference in changing the country. In Port Harcourt, Diba Barisedoma, NTA News. Wife of River State Governor, Mrs. Judith Amechi, says the state government will continue to give premium to the welfare of widows in the state as they play a critical role in nation building. Mrs. Amechi said this at a reach out program for widows in the state. Kinsley Amadre was there for NTA News. Mrs. Amechi said the widows are important stakeholders, noting that it was necessary for government to support them to build their families. I went around the LGs and I went to almost about 30 segments. of the, After the 23 LGs, I did another seven segments, which I may not call their names now, like seven different groups. And one of the groups I was meant to visit was the widows group as well. But I now realize that it's like you're having, you have yourselves in different, different segments. So I said to myself, that maybe I will find a way to call everybody together so that I will see them as a body. There were intercessory prayers for the state government, the governor, his wife Judith, as Bishop Victor Ako led the women to pray for the unity and development of River State. Bags of rice and other support facilities were later handed over to the widows. In Port Harcourt, Kingsley Amajuri, NTA News. And that's our contribution from Port Harcourt. It's back to Runke in Abuja for continuation of Nationwide. Good evening. Education Minister Professor Rukayad Rufa'i says the federal government's target is not only to expand access, but also to partner with the private sector to improve the education system. She stated this during a visit to Base University in Abuja. Franka Uzoma Olua reports. On arrival at the Bayes University, the minister was conducted round the facilities in the institution by the university's pro-chancellor, Senator Dati Baba Ahmed. Areas visited include the classrooms with a facility for every academic office, the IT lounge, the laboratories and the entrepreneurial class. Bayes University is seeking approval from the federal government to run a structure of trimester system where students graduate within two years and eight months. Bayes is just asking to do things in an efficient and up-to-date manner. And in the process, it should be remembered, Bayes will not be using one copo as a young institution, Bayes University desires to continue to match international best practices with strong commitment to quality. The university has been established both in terms of improving access but at the same time with the requisite quality that we require. And it is uh, in line with the agenda, Mr. President, and we encourage all other individuals and corporate bodies to come up and uh, be in line with what we have university. We have um, expatriates as lead academics 
and we have very sound governance and uh,